What's going on guys? I'm out here today on a uh, beach in on Maui, Hawaii. And today we're gonna be doing a little bit of uh, crabbing um, just right off the beach, right in the sand. I have here a crab trap or kind of a crab snare. How this works is this thing just, I, uh, it folds up by pulling on this and this thing lays on the bottom. I'm gonna put some bait in this little wire here right in the middle. It lays on the bottom like this. As this is gonna act as the buoy. And uh, when crabs call in, I'm just gonna grab it and snap shut on the crabs and I'm just gonna pull them up. I also have in here a, uh, a GoPro mounted inside the crab trap so we can see what goes on down there. So all I have to do, put on some bait for bait. I have a part of a dead fish that I caught yesterday with my friend Ryan while we were out uh, looking around and fishing at this harbor. So we're going to take that fish and we're going to, on that wire right in the middle, I'm just going to spear the fish, spear the fish on just like so. And you can see right in the middle of the trap, we have our dead fish, GoPro, and now I'm just going to paddle out there in my kayak and we are going to drop the trap now. Got our old kayak here trap all right so we just let our crab trap down there So I've collapsed actually this water bottle just a little bit so that hopefully the wind doesn't drag along the trap too much. Should be all right though. It's very, very windy out today. Let's see what we got here. It's been about 40 minutes. Let's see if we have anything. This is a little uh, white crab or, uh oh. I can't remember what the, Locals call them. It's some crazy Hawaiian name. It's a female though. He's running to beat the band. She is. That's cool. Cool little crab, but um, not the type we were looking for. It'll be interesting to see on the footage later if there were any crabs that got out of the trap while uh, while it was down there. Nothing, nothing worth keeping, but still a cool little crab. Female. You can see that white symbol on the bottom. Cool. So let's drop this thing back down. All right, there we go. Drop number two. So my friend Ryan has joined me out here and uh, he and I vacation at the same spot at the same time every year. And uh, anyway, we're just gonna paddle the kayak and see if we got anything on the second drop of the crab trap. How far is it? Not very far. It's, it's, a clear, uh, it's a clear buoy, so it's kind of hard to see from here in the sun. All right. 
paddle forward a little bit if you would. we had anything because I did accidentally lose my grip on it for a moment and that's when a lot of times moments when the crabs can escape so I'm not sure if there was anything in there but we're gonna drop it in one last time All right, guys, we're headed back out to pull up the trap for the third time. All right. Hopefully there's a prize inside. That's weird, because it was right out about here. And I'm not seeing it, bro. Well, that's no good. There's a, here, just, a, gosh, maybe was it out a little further? No. Oh, there it is. Where? Oh, good. Gosh, that had me. I was like, what the heck? Losing a $400 GoPro. Gosh, I don't remember being out that far, do you? No. Maybe it's just a string like here, but it just floated that way. Yeah, that's true. Well, guys, we thought we lost the bottle for a second, but uh, anyway, here it is. Snap it shut and pull it. Whoa! 7-Eleven, isn't it? Um, that's actually, I thought, we remember we, we've called those for a while, 7-Eleven crabs. They aren't, they're called white crabs. Oh, okay. But 7-Eleven uh, uh, are different, but still. That might be a keeper. He's kind of small though. We could try him. We could try him for the first time. Just on your little catch and cook thing? Yeah, just try it. Just boil up some water and see how he tastes. That's all you need is one. Yeah. Oh, it's a male and they only have to be four inches. Yeah, I think he's over four inches. Yeah. All right, well, let's try him. Yeah, let's try it. All right, guys, we've got this great little crab here. It's a male, as you can see. They have to be four inches, but I'm, I'm pretty sure, I mean, that's pretty small. Um, so I'm pretty sure that he's four inches, but we're gonna, we'll take him back and measure him just to make sure. But we're gonna try one of these crabs for the first time. If anything, those claws are gonna have some nice meat in them. All right, guys, so we're gonna measure our crab here. We actually already measured it because we're not gonna bring it all the way up to the room in the cooler without measuring it. 
Um, but let's measure it here for the camera. They have to be four inches across to be kept. And this guy is right about six inches. So definitely a keeper. Still pretty small. Um, but you know, actually I don't know if these guys, like how big they get. I don't know if they're like minimum, they usually get about 10 inches or so. But anyway, pretty small for a crab, but still a lot of people eat them. And so this is gonna be our first time trying them. So we got some boiling water here, boiling up nicely, and uh, that's where we're going to stick the crab in, just boil it up. We got uh, several tablespoons of salt in there so that the uh, it does not alter the flavor of the crab. Don't forget guys, octopus t-shirts are still for sale. Check them out in the description of the video. I'll also put them in the comment section. Still for sale. Totally unique to my channel. You cannot find these anywhere else in stores. So there's our crab turning bright orange, pretty cool. Um, we're gonna let this guy cook, I don't know, he probably will take like 10 minutes to cook. You look on the, or I, at least I pay attention to like the back of the crab, then that's an indication uh, that it's done. So I think this is done. Beautiful little orange color there. And on a plate with a bunch of water. Let me get that water off there. Sweet, looks delicious. Let me take this off the burner. Make sure everything's off. And then we also have melted butter. So we're gonna try some crab and melted butter here. So we're each gonna break off a claw here. Ooh, and already right away, we have a little piece of meat there. Let me try that. Ooh. That's good. That is really good. Wow. I'm not kidding guys, that is amazing. We got a problem here. Yeah, mine's all look, hollow too. Yeah, look. Okay, now I've heard of crabs doing this before. Look how little bit of meat there is compared to how big the leg is. I've heard that at certain times of year, crabs are more filled out. In fact, there was a guy who owned a, a marina. He said crabs are more filled out at certain times of year than not. And we must be during the skinny part of the year because that's not very much meat for how big that claw is. It is very good though. That's really good. Dang. I'm glad we tried this. <laughs> Again, kind of small, <laughs> but still. It's water flowing out of mine. <laughs> wow. That is really tasty. That rivals Dungeness crab for me. Yeah, you cooked it perfectly too. Man. Is there anything in the body here? Let's take a look. Hmm. Try it. That's not as good. No. You know, in the cavity though of the body, we do have it's just like a regular crab. We have some stuff right there on each side. Do you want to suck the head? Some people suck the head. I am okay. Let's try one of these legs. Right. <laughs> you know, if, if... Yeah, is there much in there? <laughs> <laughs> this is definitely not a filled out crab. Hmm. Some good meat here. Oh, yeah, you do. That's right in the body cavity. That's good. That was a fail for me, that little piece. <laughs> This is really good. Yeah, it's very good. I, we're going to have to go out. Yeah. And do this again. I didn't think it was going to be this good. Mm -hmm. It may be small, but it is delicious. Yeah, we need to get a big one. Uh-huh. Guys, this is delicious. Highly recommend. These crabs are super easy to catch. All you need, the hardest part is going to be getting some bait. And we've been fishing, so it's easy to catch some bait for us. But um, they just sell traps at Walmart here in Hawaii for like $5. And uh, the one that I have that you see in the video is actually, I got that in Oregon. It's like 20 bucks. But you just go to Walmart. They have these little crab snares for 5 bucks, And uh, you just need some string. And uh, you can even get some like fishing knife. In fact, you could go to Walmart, get like a $5 net, and then um, like $2 in just like some 50-pound test line. Tie it to a milk jug. Do this all yourself and catch crabs. Just paddle out there on a paddle board, swimming out there, anything. We've actually caught these on fishing lines from the shore while we've been fishing. They're just hanging on to the bait. So they're very common uh, out here. Very, very delicious. Highly recommend it.
Thank you guys for watching. Thanks for hanging out today. Thank you. And we will see you guys in the next one.